Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I totally forgot to do an intro and outro for this tutorial, so I apologize greatly for this. You'll be able to see the finished look as you do at the end of the video. So I'm just hopping right into this tutorial. I already have my foundation done. I already primed my eyelids, my eyebrows are done. I'm just going in with my Morphe 35OM palette, and I'm taking some orangey shades, and I'm using this all over the crease. And then after this, I'm going to go in with like a yellowy mustard, deeper yellow shade, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. You could do this look with any color that you want. I chose these colors because they're very Halloween-ish, and plus they kind of match the plaid shirt that I later um, would use to take photos with this outfit. Now I'm going in with these two transition-y brown shades and I'm just going to focus those on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm also going to focus those two colors on my lower lash line and then I'm going to buff in some orange down there as well. I pretty much just took all the shadows that I used on my top eyelids and I put them on my bottom lower lash line. And now I'm going in with my NYX uh, pencil in black and I'm just going to line my upper waterline and then my waterline. And then after this, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm going to wing it out. Those are my reference photos that I got from Pinterest. I'll tag those down below in the description box. I'm still using my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just using this to make lashes drawn on on my lower lash line. You can make them longer if you want. You don't have to do this step at all. I just wanted to make them not like scary because people use this tip all the time to make them look like they're fuller. I just wanted a more intense lower lash line. And then I'm going back in with my NYX pencil to make that waterline really smoky. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I always heat up my little curling wand before I use it. Make sure it's not too hot before you use it, otherwise you will burn yourself. And then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced mascara and just apply this liberally all over my lashes, lower and upper. So 
So I'm pretty happy with the way my eyes look, so I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 35OM palette, and I'm going to take a brighter orange shade from the palette, and I'm going to mix those two together, and I'm going to circle those as like a blush on my cheeks, and I feel like I lost that orange color in my lid, so I'm just going to pop that back into the crease as well, so it all kind of meshes well together and then I'm going to go back in with that mustard shade after I do my orange nose and I'm just going to use that to kind of give a shadow to the blush and the nose. After this, I'm going to go in with my NYX pencil again, and I'm just going to outline my nose, and I'm going to make it look like there's stitches on my nose real quick, and then I'm also going to make a line on my forehead and make it look like there's stitching on my forehead as well. You could totally add more of these. You don't have to do them at all if you don't want to. I think it looks more scarecrow-like if you do. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with my mouth. I'm going to draw two lines out of my mouth, and then I'm going to make those stitch marks on each side. And I use like, for the mouth, I use more of like a, like X's. I didn't really just do little lines. I did X's for the mouth. You could do either or, whatever pleases you. And then I'm just going to go in with this New York Color Black Lipstick. You literally could only find this during Halloween. So if you need black lipstick, there's totally other better options out there than this. But like, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, you go to CVS right now because I guarantee you they have it. And this is the finished look. I pair this with a straw hat and a plaid shirt, which you don't see in this video. I am so sorry. You could see from the clip picture that you do when you click on the video, that's what I wore in the photos. You could check out my Instagram. You could see the photos there or on my blog. You could see the photos there. And I am sorry I've been MIA for a little bit. Life has been a little crazy. I'm leaving to go to Georgia next week, so filming has been insane and editing has been hard as well. So. I promise you I have all the Hollow Week tutorials filmed now. It's just a matter of fact of me editing and getting them to you. They will be out soon, I promise. Until next time, guys, stay golden.